going to use some sliced portobello mushrooms. I'm not going to um, cut these down at all. I'm going to leave these whole, I think. And I'm going to use some Lipton's Kitchen Mushroom and Onion Soup Mix. Using cream of mushroom soup. It doesn't matter whatever kind you buy is all right with you. If it's all right with you, it's all right with me. I'm going to be using some all base seasoning. I'm not going to be using a lot of salt because the sodium on this is, is quite enough to have a lot of season mixtures in here, and it'll bring some spice into your your dish. I'm going to be using some lemon pepper. And I'm going to be using black pepper. And I am going to be using saffron. A little goes a long way. And I'm going to be using egg noodles at the end. Now, if you prefer to, to not put in any of these seasonings, that's totally fine. It's up to you what you choose to put in your dish. But this is how I make mine. And it is very good and it's healthy because I, lo I love vegetables. There's not a lot of sodium that's going to go in here at all. Now I'm just going to stir these in here. let them soften up some which I mean it's I just want enough softening so I can stir the rest of my stuff in and let those saute a little bit then I'll be right back okay as you can see the vegetables have started to get a little bit um a little of that um caramelization texture okay and I think these are sauteed enough for my liking for my soup because they all get softer as the soup cooks because we have to add liquid into it okay I'm going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic And I'm going to saute it with these and I'm adding these last because they can easily burn. now I think that my garlic my onions my three bell peppers green yellow orange and um, red and celery have sauteed enough I don't want to start to burn my onion now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump my Lipton my package of Lipton Lipton onion and mushroom soup mix in here and we just want to mix that in we want all the bell peppers and the onions to have a coating of this so it can hold some of that flavor in the, in them for it themselves have a nice flavor to it and this is a good comfort meal Okay, now I'm going to dump in a little bit of water in here. I'm going to mix that up. Just a little bit to start off. Ok, 
Okay, now I'm going to dump in my stewed tomatoes with the juices because the juice has a lot of flavor in there. And that's why I didn't add a lot of water because I want to see how much water I'm going to actually need. Okay, now I'm going to throw in my cubed chicken breast. Okay, let's throw in our stewed tomatoes with the juice, okay? Let's stir that in there. And we're going to cover this up and let this simmer for about two to three minutes. And then we'll move on to our next step. This is very easy, guys. Okay, now... <clears throat> It's been a couple of minutes since I put the stewed tomatoes in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my water. About two cups of water. I'm going to add my, my seasoning. which is probably about that was probably about one fourth teaspoon maybe and I'm getting ready to add some more to make it a full teaspoon now I'm going to add in my pepper. The pepper doesn't hurt anybody. So you can add season it to your taste. Then I'm going to add my lemon pepper. And the reason why I added ooh, almost. the reason why that why I added ooh, regular pepper and lemon pepper is because usually more lemon comes out than pepper when you're trying to use these in in the thing right in the jar here well I, excuse me out the container okay and then i'm going to use my saffron now saffron is known as the king of spices and the thing about this is you have to know not to use a lot because a little bit can season a whole dish a pinch sometimes under a pinch and that's going to give it that savory fresh Oh, it's also good. Take, it makes your dishes so much better. Now, the last thing that you have to do is to just cover it up and let it simmer. And then, after it simmers, I'm going to let it simmer for about maybe an hour because I'm looking for a desired thickness okay as you can see the stewed tomatoes have cooked down um, a lot and the sauce is very thick now we're going to go to our other step which is adding the cream of mushroom and this is going to cook down and make it thicker okay now we're going to just stir this in gently stir it in you don't want to splash everywhere because it's hot at this point you don't want to burn yourself
And the, before I put this in, again, I let this simmer for about an hour, okay? I'm going to stir this in and give it about 30 minutes. And then we'll see what we have. I'm going to check on it from time to, from time, to time and see if I need to add some more seasoning and more water to it. Okay, now... Here's the last, well not the last though because I'm going to add something else in mine. But for people who don't want the other stuff that I'm going to add, or well, the other things I'm going to add in mine. This will be the last step. Which is the egg noodles. I'm going to add about a cup of egg noodles. Because the mushrooms are like another protein. It's like a meat and you know noodles get you full and they they spread a, a long way that's about a cup okay before i put the top on i'm going to put my mussels in and i'm gonna just let them steam open that because i'm gonna just stir them in and let them steam open and i think this will be very good well i know it will be very good 